I just, man, it just touched me. Paula Appleberry, a 54-year-old grandmother from Horn Lake, Mississippi, was simply doing what any loving grandparent would do, driving her grandchildren home after a fun birthday party. Tierney Irby, Paula's daughter and passenger in the car, vividly recalls the harrowing moment. I just heard the shots, and I yelled at my mom to speed up and get us out of here. Little did she know, her mother had already been struck by a bullet. Despite being injured, Paula bravely tried to steer her car away from danger with her two grandchildren and a seven-month-old baby in tow. Tragically, their effort was cut short when they crashed into a pole. The impact not only on her as they mourned the loss of an innocent life. This tragedy must serve as a wake-up call to address the rampant gun violence that tears families apart and leaves communities shattered. It's time for change before another person's life is senselessly taken too soon. Paula Appleberry was taken from this world without reason, leaving behind a community in shock and searching for answers. Her son, Jarvis Irby, mourned his mother's tragic death and pleaded for justice, struggling to comprehend how someone could make such a grave mistake. But beyond the grief, those who knew Paula remember her as a kind, loyal, and peaceful soul. Interviews with loved ones reveal her as an angelic figure with a voice that could bring light to even the darkest of days. As the investigation into her passing continues, friends and family are left to grieve the loss of a devoted mother, beloved friend, and woman of unshakable faith. Her son cherishes memories of her infectious smile and trademark chubby cheeks that lit up any room. But now, those rooms will forever feel incomplete without her. One thing is certain, the world has lost an angel. And as authorities search for answers and bring the responsible party to justice, it is clear that whoever took Paula's life has shattered countless hearts and robbed us all of a truly irreplaceable soul. The Memphis Police Department implores anyone with information on this case to come forward. The suspects fled in a white sedan, but with your help, we can bring closure to this tragedy. Remember, even the smallest detail can make all the difference in solving this crime. Together, we can honor Paula's memory and ensure she receives the justice she deserves. She died, her two-year-old grandson was injured by gunfire, and her 25-year-old daughter, Tyranny Irby, was injured by the crash. That bullet was not meant for her. It was senseless. And if it was mistaken identity, I don't see how you can mistake someone with God's number one fan on their tag. General Electric hosted a balloon release to honor her life and celebrate what would have been her 55th birthday on the 24th. We love you, baby! Happy birthday! Appleberry's daughter and her son, Jarvis Irby, say they're still processing the loss. I love her. <laughs> She's unreplaceable. If I feel like I'm wrong, who do you call? You call your mom. I can't call my mom anymore. While the Irbys fight for justice for their mother, they're also calling for an end to the violence in Memphis. It could be anybody's grandma, it could be anybody's mama. If she just left Basket Rob, she eating ice cream and she got to look over it and someone is letting shots go in her car. Like that's, that's a lot, that's a lot. A few minutes ago, Memphis police said they didn't have any updates in this case. As for the two-year-old inside of that car Sunday, family said the bullet was removed at Le Bonner and the toddler is expected to make a full recovery.